Hey, YouTube viewers, welcome to the Libertarian Universe. That just fucking cracks me up. Global warming is a hoax. That's right, and 95% of the world's ice masses are in on it. It's not real. It's not happening. The laws of physics, direct measurement, and every single Earth Sciences science organization in the world that have issued a statement on the subject all agree it has happened, it is happening, and humans are responsible. Name just one science organization out there that disagrees. Good luck with that. By the way, that means several hundred thousand scientists out there are in on the conspiracy. The scientists that measure, for example, the missing ice. The scientists who measure, for another example, the rising sea levels due to anonymous, anomalous warming of the world's oceans. They're in on it also. For another example, even birds are in on it because they're migrating earlier in the spring, staying later in the fall before they head south again. The birds are part of the conspiracy also. Even the trees are in on it. <clears throat> trees are slowly moving to higher elevations because the climates that they evolved in generally in many cases are warming. Talk about your conspiracies by golly when even the trees and the birds and the insects are in on it and the world's ice masses. That's pretty goddamn impressive if you ask me. The earth is not warming. Then where the fuck is all the fucking missing ice? There is no such thing as global warming. Funny how all of the available evidence, bar none, shows exactly the opposite of that statement. Who am I supposed to believe? A person who calls himself Libertarian Universe or all of the evidence? Damn, that's a hard one. It's a myth. It's a way to control you. So let me see if I get this right. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong here. Faking the evidence that 185 billion metric tons of ice is being anomalously melted and lost in Antarctic every year that is meant to control me. I don't get it. Seriously, I just don't get it. Don't you understand this? One of you nincompoops, one of you drones, gonna finally wake up and smell the coffee. This is all one giant hoax. Yes, you know who else, I use the word who uh, humorously, who else is in on the conspiracy? Gravity. Gravity. You know when humans put artificial satellites to orbit the planet, if those satellites are not in geosynchronous orbit, they speed up and slow down based upon the mass that they happen to be above. That's right, a satellite can be on the horizon, it's still above, in space, a mass. For sections of Earth's surface that have larger masses than other sections, the satellites, the artificial satellites, speed up a bit because there's more gravity being exerted on the artificial satellite. For example, the Himalayas. If they're, for another example, going over a large ocean, satellites slow down because the mass is less. Satellites have been speeding up where 
the very high altitude ice masses are increasing due to more moisture being put into the air due to an anomalous melting of ice, satellites have been slowing down over regions where there's ice masses that are melting and flowing into the oceans. When ice melts, a great deal of ice melts, such as at the Antarctic or Greenland or the Arctic, the satellites going polar orbits from north to south to north again, they are slowing down in sections where there used to be ice, but the ice has melted anomalously. Good bloody gods! That's one hell of a conspiracy when even gravity is in on it. Or some clown who calls himself Libertarian Universe is a moron. Which is more likely? First of all, the data is only based on like 20 years. I suppose you mean data are, not data is. By the way, climatologists know Earth's climate in general going back at least 4 billion years. Climatologists know Earth's climates for hundreds of millions of years based upon proxy data, for example. Paleoclimatology goes back a great many millions of years, not just 20 years. As for human-caused climate change, we have instrument records going back approximately 140 years. Of which, it was until about 1948-1949 when the human signal broke out of the noise in that data. Those data. Them data. Where we could finally see the human influence on the global average temperature increase. 20 years? No. Of, uh, of statistics. And information. How are you going to base your information on 20 or 30 years of temperatures? The Earth. If your house bursts in the flames, do you know if it's hot or cold? This has been around for four and a half billion years. Yes, and the subject is human caused climate change, not climate change. And you're going to take 20 years measure that data and say there's global warming uh no scientist has done that oh my god the sky is falling we actually no the sky is rising not falling one of the reasons why scientists know that humans are to blame for the increase in global average temperature is because the troposphere is expanding if it was due to the sun for example the troposphere wouldn't be doing that. It would not be pushing the stratosphere higher above the surface of the Earth. The stratosphere would actually be warming. It is now cooling because it is expanding. And when a gas expands, it cools. The troposphere is warming anomalously due to low wave radiation from the Earth being trapped by greenhouse gases. Troposphere expanding, therefore human caused, therefore the sky is rising, not falling. We have to do something about this. We have to start taxing all these uh, factories and corporations. Nobody out there wants a carbon tax on fossil fuels. This is not desired by anybody out there. What is desired by all the same people here in this universe, maybe not the libertarian universe, but this one, stop putting greenhouse gases into Earth's atmosphere. That is the fucking goal. The goal is not to tax anything or anybody. That is not the desired solution. Since polluters of carbon dioxide refuse to do that, 
The only way to make the use and the burning of fossil fuels fair to everybody is to make those fuels actually cost what they really, really do cost. That is, make fossil fuel use reflect a fair market value for what they actually are worth. To do that, we have to add a fucking uh, tax to it. Because the burning of fossil fuels causes a bloody hell of a lot of damage to humanity's production, to the wealth that humans produce, to damage to the infrastructure, to brig bridges, uh, coastal power plants, uh, roads, uh, sewage systems. The burning of fossil fuels is destroying a bloody hell of a lot of humanity's infrastructure. It is decreasing humanity's food production, for example. It is decreasing humanity's fresh water supply. To make the use of fossil fuels actually cost what they really cost, that is a libertarian ideal of a free market value on fossil fuels, we have to add a tax to it. Nobody wants that to happen. The producers of fossil fuels do not want that to happen. The scientists out there say this has to happen if greenhouse gases are still being produced out there. Don't want that to happen. We all want the gases to not go in Earth's atmosphere in the first place. If that would happen, we don't need a fucking tax. They're emitting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. We have to do uh, all this stuff to stop this global warming. Oh, the human race is going to become extinct. No scientist makes that claim. No scientist will ever make that claim. You pulled it out of your anus like you pulled everything else. I guess in the libertarian universe, that is where things come from. Here in the universe everybody else lives in, we get real statements by real scientists, not imaginary statements by imaginary scientists. It's going to become extinct in 10 years. No. If we don't stop this global warming, this is hysteria. So stop doing it, you idiot. This is another way for government to control you. Yeah, how? How is it that all the world's scientists are forcing the governments to control us because all of the evidence shows humans have caused and are causing climate change. How is that controlling us? By the way, the United States government, slightly more than half of the members of the United States Congress, uh, representatives and senators, deny the fact that humans have caused and are causing climate change. More than half? And you're saying the government is using this as a hoax to control us. It's another way for it to tax more from the private sector so they can spend more money on their cronies. Uh, I don't know the universe that you live in. Maybe they're doing that. The universe that I live in, that every sane person lives in. The taxes that businesses and corporations have been paying have been plummeting. I mean, not just decreasing, but plummeting. Just saying. And line their pockets. They want to create these carbon taxes so they can take more money from, from businesses. Want to? No. You think China cares about global warming? Oddly enough, all of the evidence shows that it does. They also care about the massive pollution problem they have. Over a million Chinese die every year due to pollution that they are breathing. This is why China is the single largest producer and user of renewable energy on the planet. 
<sighs> I don't know what the China in your universe does, but in this universe, yes, they do care. If you want to do all this stuff yourself and you believe that the, the Earth is going to blow up, it's going to blow up like a volcano because of, of all this global warming. In the libertarian universe, that's what scientists have told him. Because other intelligent people, one, know global warming isn't actually happening. Even though the thermometers say that it is. And two, if it was happening, who cares? Who cares? Nothing is going to happen. The ice caps aren't going to melt. They're already melting. I can't breathe into the air because the carbon dioxide I'm emitting is, uh, is causing the earth to warm. Uh, only if you are producing more carbon than you take in. Does that happen in the libertarian universe? Doesn't happen in this one. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.